Today is 4th March and we are embarking on a very interesting trip. We have planned to cover the entire coastal stretch of Goa, that is from the start to the end. And uh, we are covering this on foot, so that's the interesting part. Right now it's 11.30, we have a train at uh, 1.10 from Thane, which will drop us at Savantwadi, 25 km from Goa border. And from there we get to the border, come to Tirakol. And then uh, nothing is planned, we just have jotted down a lot of points, uh, places on the way. So we'll be doing all of those and covering the entire coastal stretch of Goa. And I have no practice or experience in walking for such long time with my bag, which is apparently the lightest of the other. We are three people, uh, which I'll introduce who are those people. But uh, yeah, my bag is very, very slim as compared to them first thing first we have to go from here to kalyan station take a train to thane and wait for like around one hour the train is late more so yeah that's the first step in our whole big journey the time is 11 45 there was a rig near the building but uh, the rickshaw has a key in it but there's no driver Finally, we got another rickshaw. So we have like seven minutes to catch the 1152 Badlapur rickshaw. Badlapur rickshaw, na? Sorry, 752 Badlapur train. We reached by 11.55 and uh, we still got the train thanks to railways for um, running trains late. Sometimes it works, sometimes it helps. So. We reached Thane by 12.35 and we came to know that the train is late by almost one and a half hours. Almost two hours actually, no one half hours. It was supposed to arrive by 2.20, but now we have come to know that it's coming by 3.48, 3.50. So that's quite a big delay of two and a half hours. So in between we went to have food in a restaurant and planned a Goa trip. And now we have to wait for another one hour at least. So not a good start, not a good start. The time is 3.30 and the train is still late. The new time is uh, 4.25, which at this point I feel may still get extended. After a long wait of four hours, the train has finally come. We still don't know the reason why it was late, but uh, yeah, it has come and I, I don't, oh wow, look at the train which has arrived, look at the train which has arrived after four hours, so this is, <laughs>
time is 1:45, and uh, we are still not close to Savantwadi. Probably we have another one hour to go to reach Savantwadi. So the trip is very much delayed, and all the planning has to be changed once we reach Savantwadi. Pujagani, Savantwadi. After that. This was the train we came in, the Madgao Express, which was late by almost seven hours. Recently, a movie has been released with the same name, Madgao Express, and I heard it's a nice movie. So after ten long hours of journey from Thane, we finally reached Savantwadi. Uh, we stopped at a small place to eat. And after eating, uh, we'll probably catch a bus from here to Savan to Shiroda, which is the border of Maharashtra, and then from there, some three four kilometers to Tirakul. And since this is almost four o'clock right now, we will probably stop at Tirakul for the day, and then continue uh, for the next day. So uh, the next update will be in Tirakul. The rickshaws at the station are quoting a price of six hundred minimum to go to Savantwadi. So we are here waiting for the bus. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we are in the bus towards uh, Tirakol. If you want to take a bus from Savantwadi to Tirakol, you have to get down at uh, Huda. That's one or uh, Shiroda. So you get direct buses from Savantwadi to Shiroda, or else you can take a bus to Raidi and get down at Huda and then take a rig to Tirakol. So we are going by that route. We'll be getting down at Huda and then going taking a rig from there to uh, Tirakol. We have got down at Puda and now we are walking towards Terakol. It's around 3.2 kilometers from here. The rickshaw guy told a charge of 150 rupees, which obviously is too much. 100 is fine, but they didn't even mind. So we're like, fine, let's walk, have some practice. Anyways, we were supposed to walk today for at least 10, 14 kilometers, which we didn't. So yeah, this is a little uh, practice session for us too. This is not on a list, but this looks like a very beautiful beach. It's called the Rady Beach. Oh, sorry, it's not a beach, it's a lake. Rady Lake. This is the Maharashtra Goa border, which we are going to enter. There's a check post over here and a gate and some barricades, that's it. Let's enter Goa. This is the first bar after entering Goa. It's hardly 50 meters from that from the entrance. This is another beautiful looking bar, Sobit Tirakul and uh, this is again hardly inside 50 meters of the border. The beauty of this restaurant and bar near the border of Maharashtra Goa was such that we went inside and spent an hour and now it's uh, dark, it's 7.30 almost 7 30 and we have to move and find a place to halt for tonight this is the room for tonight this is the hotel called hill rock it's in uh, tirakul 
quite decent hotel, spacious. Three people can easily uh, keep their luggage and sleep. There's a cupboard. There's a washroom over there. I think it's a 32 inch TV. And yeah, it comes with AC and also an area to sit outside. Though I can't see any chairs. Now, uh, talking about this hotel, you have a swimming pool, you have a bar and restaurant. And the best part, the hotel also has a wine shop. That's the first day. All we did is came from Kalyan to Tirapul. And uh, that's it, that's for the first day. From tomorrow, which is officially becoming the first day, we'll start walking. Uh, from Tirapol, the start point of Goa to the end of Goa, completing the entire coastal stretch. So, I am a little tired but interested for this trip, and I hope you are also. So, yep, see you in the day two. Bye.